Hello, thanks for joining me, astrologer Patrick Arundel, for your astrological overview for week commencing the 20th of October, a clustering of energy in the sign of Libra, and a sweet link between the Sun and Venus suggests that diplomacy and graciousness in relationships or discussions can certainly be an asset to us all this week. Yet ironically, Mercury, the planet of communication, continues to twist backwards in Libra through to Friday. So there can still be some cross wires and misunderstandings. So we need to choose our words carefully because the Venusian influence can lead towards a little bit of insincerity. Pleasingly, Mercury also forges a great link with Jupiter, suggesting that ideas mixed to passion and self-confidence can also work well. But with Jupiter in a clash with Saturn, this is just suggesting that if you have got something that you want to say that's important, you need to be aware of the nitty-gritty details and make sure that you're thinking things through thoroughly before get into the point where you actually want to uh, share those ideas. Now, it's all change on Thursday when the sun moves into the sign of Scorpio and there's a solar eclipse. This solar eclipse is also going to be very Venusian influence because Venus moves on Friday into Scorpio too. So for the next six months, this theme of passion and charm is definitely going to be to the fore. Now, when the Sun and Venus combine in Scorpio, it can lead to an increase in sexual activity in close relationships or increase the desire side in people who are looking for relationships. But this solar eclipse links in with the lunar eclipse which occurred in Aries on the 8th of October and combined with Uranus. So we just need to be aware of not being too impetuous, which comes from that, when it comes to our long-term alliances or commitments. And this can be as true of our sex lives as much as how much money we borrow from the bank. By the end of this week, not only has Mercury started to go forwards on Saturday, but Mars has climbed into the sign of Capricorn. Here for the next six weeks through to the 4th of December, Mars is asking us to be hard-working, productive, and perhaps a little bit more orthodox in our approach than was the case as it passed through the sign of Sagittarius. If you really put in the hours and the perspiration, along with the inspiration, Mars is promising here that eventually some kind of goal will be achieved during its transit through this sign. It's been a real pleasure being with you. Thank you for joining me with me. Good luck. And goodbye for now.